Hello, everybody. Welcome to TV and D. How's everybody doing? This is our uh, television and role-playing mix-em-up show that we do. I'm your game master, Brian Miller, here as always with Carolyn, Eli, and Tony. Hello. 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 Hi, guys. The second uh, I logged in, my cat started making noise. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sounds like cat stuff. Um, also, that cat of mine. There's a guest here. Somebody's back. It's Mr. Nathan Yaffe. Nathan, thank Hi. you so much for coming and hanging out. Oh, thanks for inviting me back. It's been too long. It has been too long. Uh, we keep uh, inviting you to join the main cast, and you keep telling me to stop, stop texting you. Uh, <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I believe my exact words were, I need more than one day to plan <laughs> to be on. And you did it uh, this week. You asked this me week at the I beginning of the week. And I so did a good I was job able this time. To schedule it. You finally, <laughs> Brian's just been buying burners nonstop to, to get in touch. Every number block. You can't get away from me. Yeah, yeah. I say, I, I think I respond very nicely, but I do block the number. Um, so, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm blocked. You get one shot. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, bud. Can't this week. Also, Never man, contact yeah, me number from this number working. again. Yeah, I just, I just won't respond. Uh, yeah. my, my phone's about to die, and I lost all my chargers. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> also, Ryan, thank you for um, the subs. How, how do we afford more burners for you? <laughs> oh, this is supposed to be like a really, really clean, slick segue into talking about um, where to find us and subscribing, because uh, that's usually your bit. Um, oh, I uh, well, it's good. <laughs> it was a, such an elegant setup. It was such a fine setup that we might have missed it because you probably weren't expecting much from me. <laughs> that must have been it. Uh, thank you for all the subscriptions so far. Uh, Evans Veris. Uh, K Boss, uh, from what extended their tier one subscription through December? Thank Ooh. you so much. Uh, that really does help us to oh, keep wow. doing the show. Um, that also counts as a hello to everyone watching live right now on twitch.tv slash TVND and everyone watching in the future on our YouTube channel. Uh, this is the beginning of our season finale campaign. Uh, let's so we're gonna be wrapping some stuff up in June, we're gonna go away in July. Uh, and then we're going to come back in August with uh, TV and D 2.0. Um, TV and D 2. The 2 um, exciting. Also, thank you, Casper so, Darkly, for the su sub and for the 200 bits. KBoss39 of The Void. Thank you. You know what? Um, they really are the boss of The Void. Yeah. Can there truly be any boss of The Void? That's what I would ask. Find out tonight. Uh, um, so, Dragon uh, Ball Z. The... Yeah. For our uh, for our little finale here, our little finale, uh, for our whole month-long finale here, each week we're going to be revisiting some of our uh, favorite sets of characters uh, and having a, uh, a adventures as some uh, evil grips the entire setting. So everyone's going to be dealing with uh, the end of the world? Question mark. Uh, so this week, uh, with Nathan coming back, we are, of course, revisiting King of the Hill, which we did many, many months ago. Um, so who's everybody playing? Uh, Eli, who are you? Hank Hill. I gotta, I gotta fall into it again. I'm Hank Hill. It's been a while. The pyromancer. <laughs> you know, you know about all about him. Uh, I got my wife Peggy. I got my my little baby boy Bobby. I'm ready to okay. adventure and do all all sorts of crazy stuff. Flawless. Mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, just my regular. So Carolyn, voice, who so are you? To clarify. Dad, I'm oh. I, I'm Bobby Hill. I, this, I love my dad. I love my mom. Heck, I even love propane. <laughs> Finally, Bobby. I've been waiting so long. Uh, Bobby, when last we left you, you became an official pyromancer. I was originally a familiar summoned by my father slash summoner, Hank Hill. And I was showed such great adept talent at being a pyromancer, that they made me a pyromancer. And it's I like, think I had a scarf or something. This is like it was ASMR, like a Bobby. This is so, <laughs> so the crisp sounds. Also, thank you a ton of, a ton of subs from KBoss39 oh, yeah, of the Void. Five thank subs. You. And Be My Badger, I think, gifted a sub as well. I mean, that's be how you become boss of the Void. 
and all those gift oh, sets. Oh, amazing! And DC Riley, amazing. Everybody. Um, uh, yeah, you. DC Riley subscribed with Prime. Uh, hey, if you have a Prime subscription and maybe want to give us uh, a free five dollar Bezos bucks, uh, you probably have it if you subscribe to Amazon Prime. It's and your last take- chance to give us Bezos bucks before he steps down. You could. This is your last <laughs> chance to to dip into his <laughs> his his coin purse. His personal if you don't pocketbook. Give it to us. Course. Jeff gets it. <laughs> <laughs> and do you want that? He, you want so Jeff's he can go on sex on cruises <laughs> with Elon Musk, and they could rub their weird heads together, and they rub their dicks together. Is that what you want? Something Internet? about them rubbing their heads together was more unsettling. Yeah. Than the yeah. Oh, Matt Mitchell subscribed too. Thank you, Matt. Thanks, because Bezos' head's um, so smooth and Elon's head is so lumpy. It's yeah. just it, he, and he got the hair put in, so he's he's got a regular. Mm-hmm. He's, he's yeah. not a baldsman anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, hey Nathan, who are you playing? I'm playing Cleric Peggy Hill. <laughs> I'm a devout cleric and mother and wife and boggle champion. And substitute teacher. Coming in like a Twitter bio. All the credits. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of that that scene where uh, it's like her, her voicemail. It's like the person you are trying to reach. Oh, hello, this is Peggy Hill. Uh, I'm sorry I can't reach uh, the phone right now, but go ahead and leave a message after the beep and I'll get right back to you. Is not available. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's a bit of an overshare. <laughs> Uh, she gives 110 percent beautiful uh hey tony who are you i am the most important member of the hill family dale gribble (laughs) i single-handedly won the vietnam war by conscientiously objecting (laughs) i don't know if that's in the show i I haven't seen it all on i have to imagine that it probably is okay i'm dale i'm an exterminator and I'm good at it too. And I'm insecure about my relationship with Bobby, if I remember correctly. Oh, you were I really to want to be Bobby. his dad. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to adopt Bobby, if I remember. Yeah. It was the last kind of place I was at. I feel like Bill right. was a real, I... like, bone spurs, flat feet kind of guy, more than the conscientious objector. Sure. He was yeah. a real, like, my I body was... was objecting for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Vietnam, which of course canonically happened in TV and D. Yep. We'll yeah, dive into that a... next month. No, yeah. we will not. <laughs> that... We will not what be we touching do when that. When we come back with MASH, TV and D MASH. <laughs> uh, Actually, it's not terrible. I've never war, seen the show. I've always been interesting. What? That was the Korean War. MASH oh, takes was? place during the Korean War. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's about Vietnam, Vietnam, but it's though. set in in Korea. <laughs> Because Vietnam was, yeah, right. I wait. It's first. about Vietnam. It's like you it's like what? commentary on the Vietnam War, but it's set during the Korean War, right? Okay, so we're gonna cancel tonight's show and explain allegory. <laughs> it's this. Ri- uh... <laughs> All right, not, that probably I, means I we should get into it. <laughs> <laughs> this would have got a whole lot smoother if you got my segue earlier, Brian, about the burners. You're right. Speaking of burners. Here's a tale about some pyromancers. Wow. Perfect. Guys. Thank you. Catch All City has fallen. What? Last night, a horrible eldritch tower of strange static and broadcast distortion rose from the ground in the center of the city. Standing atop it, as if orchestrating his own personal apocalypse, is Brisket, the lock mimic, (gasps) and his faithful companion, Willie the Wyvern. Uh, At his command, the darkened, storming skies open and rain upon the city an army of creatures not of this dimension. The battle was sudden and bloody. The Gilmore Girls' heads are placed higher spiked on pikes in the square. The Rugrats were fed to a giant endless chasm. The full house is now full of corpses. (laughs) (laughs) Catch-all's banners fly tattered against the skyline. Uh, uh, The enemy's banner is suddenly raised. Buy now. Call now to order. 
the commercial dimension. Creatures from the commercial dimension are now the rulers of Catch-All City. And towering above, Brisket smiles. <gasps> My God. This this is so this is the like this is basically like paid uh what is it? Oh my god. That by the way, this seems like a good uh time to say because someone just paid for it and no one can hear it. Um which thank you. Uh Blurp is gone. Unfortunately, it is out of our hands. Blurp apparently can be used to play some highly unsavory clips, despite whatever settings we choose, so we are no longer able to offer it even though the the little pop-up might still be there um but i enjoyed that but we can't we we can't do blurp anymore it's uh we, do, we disavow blurp and we don't want to be associated with them because they allow things on their platform that we absolutely do not support and brian what an amazing intro that was holy shit Thanks, yeah yeah that was fantastic uh, <laughs> sorry i got thrown off by the Naruto thing blurp will no that longer be able to be as good as blurp is bad <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Uh, so the uh, the invasion has spread beyond, of course, the metropolitan center of Catch All City, and all the way into heart the heart of Texas, the fantasy district, of course, uh, the rural farm district of Catch All City, where the uh, cast of Heart of Dixie lives. I know it well, <laughs> and and King of the Hill, <laughs> and Touched by an Angel, and Literally. King of the Hill, specifically oh, relevant King, of the, King of the Hill. Okay, that, uh, that football out. shows sure. about Texas. <laughs> I don't lights. Yes. I don't want your life. <laughs> um, so as as that, <laughs> there is some drama <laughs> about football happening uh, just around the corner, <laughs> but just over the hill. Uh, let's see. We, are, we find ourselves in like the center square of the neighborhood of Texas and these uh, humanoid, like anthropomorphic cockroach creatures are tearing apart houses and buildings and like this little square. Um, it's, they are uh, the little uh, uh, animated bugs from the Roach Motel commercials. Uh but they've been tearing apart the town, uh, and the uh, the city is like raising to or like uh, raising a defense to try and stop it. Uh, could everyone introduce their characters with a scene of cinematic action of you arriving on the scene uh, of this sort of town square filled with bug creatures wrecking havoc? I just Does anyone go. have an idea? I'll, uh, I'll, I guess we're all in a building, maybe. Let's, let's, let's perhaps start that thread. And Perfect. I'll walk out, and i just go, let's I, <clears throat> get back in here. Uh, Dale, I think you're going to want to see this. See what? Uh, I flip up my glasses, revealing that they're like multi-part dwarven uh what you macaws and i flipped down a high intensity lenses so i could actually see for the first time <laughs> no thanks i flipped back to the other lenses <laughs> um great uh sorry go ahead bobby's gonna uh fly up he, he kind of hears this, some scuffling near the front door and flies up on his little wings uh over uh, uh hank's shoulder and goes oh Dad, what's going on? Oh my, oh my lord, Dad! Oh my dark, whatever god we worship. Oh my propane, what's going on, Dad? Bobby, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby be careful, honey. Peggy, you might want to see this too. I don't think <laughs> careful's gonna fix it. Uh, I um, I, I I come outside uh, as as well, and we do the pose like from the intro. Uh, so ever we see, yeah. <laughs> we yeah, see we everyone the from the intro and all the bad guys like go around they're, us like tearing stuff down. Yeah, they're destroying us. property yeah. to the like. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do bring out a bag of trash. <laughs> well, Hank, just because they're destroying the neighborhood doesn't mean our house needs to be dirty. And then when the intro's over, uh, it the intro gets cut off a little bit before it ends because you see one of the bugs. It the camera whip pans over and you see one of the bugs impale a bard who was playing music to try and confuse the bugs and, like, protect us. Um, Dale, like, abruptly pulls up in his, in his, uh, Dale's, uh, dead bear bug wagon and says, Quick, everybody, 
cower under my wagon and then immediately starts like a fetal position crying under the wagon um so as you look out on the street and these bug creatures are uh causing havoc and pandemonium killing people chasing people uh they also are um lifting people up off of the ground and flying away with them taking them off to god knows where uh they seem to be taking captives uh so uh bobby you're seeing this you see one of the cockroaches is about to grab um i I can't think of a a texas child character (laughs) but um or someone from king of the hill but the the bug creature goes to grab this child and fly off into the sky with him what do you do yosemite sam it's Yosemite Sam. <laughs> Dude, what in tarnish? Yosemite is not in Texas at all. He is now. It's very wrong. He, he was, was visiting. visiting. Look, they have him on a lot of their trucks, okay? So he's basically <laughs> an icon there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, he's okay. a big bumper sticker presence down there, I feel like. Yeah, th- this is bumper sticker Yosemite Sam, specifically. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No human. If uh, God wanted humans to fly, he would have given us wings. This is unnatural. Uh, but Bobby, you are you are the closest to what's happening. What do you do? I'm going to try and fly up. I say, Dad, don't be judgmental. And I fly up on my wings and try and grab this, uh, the character, Yosemite Sam. I'm going to try and grab his feet. And he's like, go oh, turn it. I'm a Yosemite Sam. I got a big hat. <laughs> How um, much Yosemite Sam have you seen? I mean, not that it's easy to Eli, see him. <laughs> not in 15 years. What the fuck do you want from me? I mean, no, because that was uncanny. Uh, <laughs> um, does he so, have his uh, two revolvers? Because that would be helpful also. He does, oh, but they're you? crossbows and they're empty. He has oh, to no. manually reload them. <laughs> it's uh, so much less fun as a cartoon. It's like, doof, 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 instead of explosions. Man. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, uh, Bobby, you are trying to rip Yosemite Sam away from uh, this roach motel bug creature. Uh, let's see. So these things you. are pretty determined. It's got Yosemite Sam pretty tight. I'm going to need you to roll a 14 or higher to be successful. Can I, I have something okay. that could help? On a d20, too. not one of your weird No, just d20, yeah. Okay. Though Hank thinks he can help. I do think I have a can of lu- magic lubrication spray. If I could toss Disgusting. that up to Bobby, you could... You could get Yosemite slant. Sam all slippered up and then get him out a little easier, I think. That's a great idea. Lube up your son. Yeah. Uh, yeet it. Yeet it to me, Daddy. Uh, Daddy-o. I'd like to yeet. Uh, yeah, roll to yeet. Uh, if you roll a 10 or higher, Bobby can catch that. Bobby, quick, slippery him up, boy. Okay, Dad. Go. 14. Nice. <laughs> uh, 14. So, Bobby, you catch the can of uh, uh, magical lubricant. Uh, WD-40, of course, in uh, your hand. Uh, and uh, now you only need to roll a 10 or higher. Thanks, Dad. Great I throw, spray. honey. Thanks, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> Thank you, family. <laughs> Tony, I think your mute is on. Yeah, you are muted. Oh, it is. I, I just made a casual observation that I'm glad that we're not waiting too long before doing another episode about slippery children. <laughs> 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 okay thanks dad i spray yosemite sam and oh and he slips and he slips out of my grasp because i rolled a four uh and uh sure enough yosemite what in tarnation is put as it slowly just fades off as uh the bug creature carries him away um good no! try bobby <laughs> bobby you did your best I burst into tears and fly into Peggy's like chest and just oh, like cry oh, against no. her. Oh, sweetie. Oh, Bobby. Peggy, Peggy you're cod- You're coddling the boy. He, he he there's just he does not have the upper body strength to to carry an entire man out of a bug's grasp no matter how slippery he is. Um so uh Dale, you can see we we cut to Dale under his uh wagon. Uh Covering his eyes or watching the chaos unfold? Uh, he he has flipped down another version of his glasses that are just like blackout lenses. <laughs> just full and he's just going, it's peaceful in here. <laughs> Nothing bad is happening anywhere as far uh, as I can tell. How do you find out that there are three bug creatures ripping their way into your home? Oh, because one of them steals my glasses. 
No, my eyes, they're naked. You like stick your naked to the radiation of the sun and the horrors of um. life. Um. <laughs> Dale, isn't this specifically your job? I don't come to your. Pro what do you do for work, Hank? I'm not actually I'll sure. I know. Propane and propane accessories. Uh, I load my crossbow. <laughs> that does sound familiar. I'll believe you this time. Um, I, uh, I I load my crossbow and I prepare to uh, destroy um, these bugs. As... Um, I want to say just for color that like these are. Earth realm uh, cockroaches or something. So Dale's never seen these before. He's used to <laughs> like weird fantasy. <laughs> but, fair, so th th this is a, a bit beyond a spay grade. <laughs> that even so, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Still haven't even. Okay. So um, the cockroaches have torn their way into your home, uh, and two of them together have lifted your son Joseph up from the roof, and you can see him flailing in the sky. Dad, dad. <laughs> No, my pro protege, pro progeny, progeny, <laughs> my progeny. There we go. It took a second. Got it. Um, um, you guys are too far away to directly do anything, and they are just off in the sky with Joseph. Yeah. How many are there? Uh, there are uh, several scattered about the town square right now, causing havoc and like grabbing people. Two How many are carrying my son? Two. Two bugs. I load two <laughs> bolts into my crossbow at the same time, and I aim very carefully. I still don't have my. Glasses. Tell you what, roll a d20. If you uh, if you roll a nat twenty, you can derail this whole adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for it. Dale rolls. I think he rolls. Dale presses it again. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. Closer for comfort 20. than I thought. That's a pretty good roll. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. So what happens? <laughs> What does it look like as you That's a failure, to... I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dale does like a tactical roll, you know, like he uh, runs and dives and loads the crossbow while he's rolling. His hat almost comes up, but he catches it, you know. Uh, he takes aim. Uh, we see like Dale vision for a second, and it's just blurs right now. <laughs> and he, ha yeah! And he pulls the trigger, and two arrows uh, soar. Uh, directly towards the cockroaches who are holding Joseph in, in the air. And uh, they both kind of like look at each other, look back at the arrows still coming at them, and they just like drop <laughs> a couple inches and it just goes right under them. <laughs> I got him, I think. Uh, so Dale has clearly not got them, those who you can see into the yeah. sky, and they, uh, they fly away with oh, Dale's yeah. son. Uh, what do you do? Well, we Bobby still got screams. these, right? It's at a high pitch. There scream. are there are still uh, many more around, causing havoc. How flammable are these buildings? Because I know we're in a different setting. There's probably not uh, like fire coats, you know. What are we talking no, about? No, there air? are. There's a lot of like hatch roof cottages and the like. Okay, yeah, that's uh, gonna so limit quite. what I can do. <laughs> there are a couple fires already, to be fair. Um, you now, know, just general pandemonium. Can I put out fire as part of my powers or not? It just says I'm controlling the element of fire. Can I lift all the fire off the roofs and send it at the cockro cockroaches? Uh, I would, so that that sounds like a pretty strenuous, like intense, uh, uh, magical effort, oh. right? I'd like to help him do that. Also, as my father slash creator slash okay. summoner, Bobby, I'm and newly and power. freshly inducted pyromancer, who's kind of good at pyromancy, I would like to help him. I'd like to like kind of feel him some like uh, engaging with the forces that are the flame around us and jump on that jump on that uh, train. Bobby, it's time Grant, I doing... will oh, go ahead. I will encourage I will encourage them as well. Uh Bobby, Bobby get to feel... our maximum pyromancy stance. I can't tell you how satisfying it is to pretend to be a functional family unit. <laughs> 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 it's so nice. I just this think it's lovely that you two have a common interest that you can uh, participate in together. What is the pyromancer stance? I must know. <laughs> I mean, I have an idea, but I'd also love to hear Carolyn's input. Well, I think they'd probably have different pyromancer stances. For Bobby, it's a lot of arms and like 
neck and like shoulders i think i was just thinking it got on my back like a parachute or a backpack but maybe he's just writhing a lot at the same time (laughs) i think well i think he jumps on hank's shoulders and then just like does kind of like a ymca thing just vogues on top of me yeah Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. all right Uh, bobby (laughs) uh great uh so um let's see if you both roll over a 10 i'm gonna say it's very successful if one of you rolls over half successful Okay. I'll roll first. That's ten. A, so what, That's you, a ten. So you said, oh, what do you what do you say about numbers? Ten or over. Ten or over. Okay. All right. I just want to clarify here. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. All right. Hey. Um, what does it oh, look yeah. like when you control the flame from the roofs of these cottages and wipe out all of the bugs in uh in town causing havoc? It's uh, it, it looks like we're using the computer for Minority Report. It's just a lot of like moving our hands like that. Here's a Bobby. And, uh, Move the fire with me. And Bobby's like, yeah, he vogues the fire know. into the cockroaches. Yeah. It's like, Wha-pa! and then like, it's a beautiful see, fireworks like, show. Pointing, moving. It's like straight onto a cockroach who explodes into green goo because it all like bubbles up under his carapace. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. No. Oh, another one is like torched. Uh, one is about to lift a guy off, and then is torched, and the other, and the guy like hits the ground hard. <laughs> uh, but um, aside from some smoldery buildings, uh, you've saved the town square and a couple of homes. Nice. But Joseph has been taken. No, my progeny. <laughs> this time, I I knew the pronunciation. Um, I I start like running towards the sky uh i guess i mean like climbing i start like climbing a Running building towards you know the sky. And just kind of like reaching towards the sky it's beautiful yeah, yeah. Be the name of your you know memoir if you become like a very still, serious runner yeah. i'm pretty sure it's already a kate bush album <laughs> uh, there you go <laughs> That's a joke for, for like four people. Uh, but yeah, the um, yeah, I, I just started like scaling a building and dramatically reaching up the sky and going like, no. And then like a uh, little bug bits fall on me. I'm like, Aah! and brush them off and Dale, I, don't know, I vomit kind of Dale, style, you know. They didn't go straight up. They went that way. <laughs> but I'm willing to help uh, you find yourself. Yeah, like, because I think if you don't, you're going to redouble your efforts to adopt my son. Which is not something that I can That is true. We can't have I that, don't no. consider my efforts to have ever been singled since they have been doubled from the beginning. Um, can one of the, like, the dying bugs just like hand me my glasses back, which I all too willingly gave away, and uh, yeah, just like kind of leans over and I put them back on my eyes and squeegee off some bug juice. Um... So, uh, you've, you've seen the direction that they're flying off in, also maybe the trail of destruction that they've created. Um, what's the move? We follow gotta them. follow. We gotta go get Joseph back. Let's follow that destruction trail. Okay. I bet there's Very good, a nasty Bobby. queen at the end. We're gonna have to punch her in her juice sack and kill her. Yeah, and then she's gonna give birth to somebody, and then we're gonna have to play chess against them later, like in Hunter Hunter. That's what? not that's that's not Hank talking. That's just a personal side. It's a you great reference. Yeah. Anime thanks, reference. thanks, Nathan. <laughs> like, okay, Bobby, but you do need to get down because I can feel my vertebrates starting to stack on top of each other like a Jenga tower. <laughs> okay, Dad. And then I fly up a little bit and do a little backflip oh. in the air and then fly next to him. Yes, Hank, before we begin any uh, arduous trek, uh, you should do your stretches. I'll do the stretches. Do you have my girdle, Peggy? I mean, my, my weight belt. Uh, Dale, what are you doing to prepare for uh, this most uh, epic quest? Prepare? Dale's already halfway down the road. He's not going very fast. It's like everyone's going to be able to catch up with him because he's... He's not pacing uh, himself. He's going to win no, himself not very at quickly. All. He's, he's out of breath and halfway down the block. <laughs> he'll, sl- he'll slow down. Should we maybe get in Dale's roach van? Oh, yeah. He oh, has yeah. a vehicle. He'll pick me up in my own van. Yeah. Dale, did you need a ride? 
Like, yes, I was just letting the engine warm up by not running it. <laughs> uh, move over, I'm driving. Uh, great. So, uh, we cut to uh, Dale's van uh, making its way down uh, a um. You know, what, a cobblestone Incline? path. Okay. A cobblestone path, bump, very bumpy along the way. Um, and uh, let's... I'm sorry, I'm just going to make a quick map here because uh, I got an idea. Uh, Best episode ever? Is I love it, it when me? So far, has ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, um, you so... got to fly outside of the the truck. I'm sorry, but there's not enough space in here. Man's not supposed to be so close to his son. People but might see wings. it and think something. But my wings. Oh, Hank. Bobby, you can sit on my lap. Thank You're you. coddling Bob. the boy, Peggy. <laughs> uh, yes, I Dale. am. Bobby. It is my right as a mother to coddle as much as I want. <laughs> what are you going to do next? Give him a bottle of milk? If that is what he wants, Bobby. The boy is a 400-year-old demon, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> and if my 400-year-old demon wants milk, then who yeah. he'll get it. Virgin's milk. Nobody's drinking my milk. <laughs> Dale like, shows a Nalgene bottle full of milk that he has. Uh, <laughs> Nalgene, Nalgene is the name of a Nalgene. very powerful uh, wizard. Just milk in like Craft a bottle that's impossible. Like, a milk in a bottle that's impossible to fully clean is so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bobby. You, you better cannot... believe it's never been near a refrigerator. Um, it's one of those Bobby like, promised straw me you will never, never drink that. <laughs> Milk. Yeah. It has like a built in straw that you like, can never get fully cleaned out. Oh. I only like virgin's milk, anyways. That's what they'd feed us in the nether realm. Hmm. Uh, Dale. <laughs> like it just sort of blinks in silence. <laughs> Dale, why? And like, there are obvious reasons, but why specifically right now? Like, uh, give me some emotional through line here. Uh, why is it extremely important? That you get Joseph back safely. Why is that important to Dale? What what sincere moment is he having? Are Son. you asking me to explain a father's love, Brian? I am asking that. <laughs> oh. Was anybody well, in chat like, but why does he want his son back? <laughs> <laughs> I want to feel it. I want to feel it. What is the motivation here? Uh, well, from the moment that. He's born, uh, and you look into his uh, brown eyes that definitely look exactly like yours and uh, not like your neighbor's. Uh, you feel that connection and uh, know that uh, he must be protected at all costs. What are you having me do here, oh, Brian? I, I don't understand mistakes. this question. Uh, how about he owes uh, me $15? Yeah. <laughs> so it's important that we get now I can get into it. Back because he owes me at least than a $20 bill. <laughs> Do you understand now um, why this so, is important? Uh, as to you're me? making your way down this bumpy cobblestone path, uh, sorry, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> fuck all of us i think we can all uh, take that away from this uh so as the wagon is with a dead bugbear on it is it a bugbear skeleton or is it just a rotting bugbear corpse i think it's a i believe skeleton, it was right? a skeleton right right that sounds yeah. right yeah. um so um you're suddenly about to get like uh a scissor attacked uh by four of these bug creatures that are like uh honing in on your um on your car on your carriage uh they're of course above like sort of surrounding the vehicle getting ready to dive in and attack what do you do those bugs are about to scissor us <laughs> pincer now, pincer scissor. attack is what i was looking for <laughs> nice now i do think that we made quick work of the bugs that were attacking the town square they were being very aggressive however i do do part-time substitute teaching at the learning annex that I created in that goblin cavern, if you recall. Sure. And I am fluent in many number of monstrous speeches. Although I do not know for sure what these bugs speak, I, Peggy Hill, will do my best to communicate with them. I think uh, we should Peggy also Hill, understand... Peggy Hill, tell these monsters that we're going to kill them for taking my son. <laughs> yes, I will. I Make will. sure they know that they're going to die. 
Um, I think we should yes, try Dale. and understand what they want. Well, yes, I think we can we can get all of that information and convey that we intend to uh, murder them in cold blood. Dale, where's that intercom that you use to scream about MK Ultra all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I show Hank the intercom that I used to scream about MK Ultra. Uh, all the what time. is this fantasy intercom? Is it just a magic rune that projects out of the? Yeah, it's like a crystal on a cord into the dashboard, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Here, Peggy. Uh, yeah, so, speak their sweet it, uh, language. It makes it, it te temporarily reanimates the skeleton on top of the van, so that like horribly <laughs> has to repeat what you uh, say. But it looks so like a bad louder. animatronic. It's like like a Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> robot where the mouth doesn't really match up. No matter what you say, it then like briefly begs you to kill it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Peggy, let's see if you can communicate with the bug creatures. So this, I think this is going to be difficult. Hey, Peggy, you're only so so at other yeah. languages maybe and then also these are interdimensional commercial right. monsters yeah no there's uh, no reason she she's just very confident in herself maybe, and her abilities maybe they're from yeah. the commercial dimension of univision where they speak <laughs> the espanol. ancient language of espanol yes <laughs> maybe uh if if nathan rolls a 17 or higher maybe <laughs> all right here we go Uh, Peggy. Nope. What do you say in their language? Um, I I think yeah. In in their language, uh, I believe I uh, I'm able to introduce myself, um, and say that uh that they are um. That they are it's it's just it's just nonsense. It's, just, you, <laughs> it's, it's like Not it's like we it's like you know, it's a series of uh what should be like guttural, like crackling noises, but said as as a uh Texas housewife. So it's like Garaak Araka Alka Arga Peggy Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, and yeah, it's it's just like maybe maybe dog dog whistle, uh, smelly potatoes, and such. Um, so uh, the uh, the bugbear skeleton on the top of Dale's uh, wagon repeats this, uh, and then begs for death. Um, yeah, faintly, faintly, Dale can hear it. Maybe no one else can. <laughs> <laughs> I told you once before, I'm not killing you. <laughs> um but uh the uh this has had no effect on the bug creatures and they zoom in closer towards the carriage and are about to potentially lift the entire carriage up off of the ground. Did they say what anything back? Oh yeah, angry. did they Yeah, did Horrible they say anything? What does that mean? Peggy. Bobby's gonna Bobby's gonna blast. We <laughs> he hear he hears what's the fuck is going on with his mom, and he's just gonna blast fire Got at blast. the one nearest him. Uh, great. Wait a minute. Do we Got not want to just be taken where Joseph is going? Oh yeah, they're just gonna take us there. Oh. I cannot yeah. guarantee. This you could that. save us a lot of trouble. Put a lot of trust in these. Um, if you if Dale wants to like stop Bobby from casting, then all Bobby will stop. You're an adult. Bobby's war charging up. You have. You can say something while he's charging up. Yeah, Bobby's up. charging up. He's still in his startup animation. He's like yeah. doing a long comedy <laughs> sort of thing. Oh, okay. Um, I, uh, I, I stop Bobby by just jerking the van to one side Whoa. and then to the other side. Uh, just like knocking his head really hell, hard against the window. Bobby was charging up. Don't worry. On the way back, we'll check him for concussions. <laughs> um, I I whisper very loudly uh, my plan to have us abducted and taken to Joseph directly uh, to uh, to my compatriots. Um, is that what you guys are doing? Well, yeah. from what I know of insect colonies, they do tend to have one central monarch. I'm just going to say it. I think this is a terrible plan, but I will go along with it. When I'm right, you're gonna be embarrassed, Peggy Hill. Uh, 
<laughs> Me and my alive son Joseph will laugh at you. <laughs> so uh, the bug creatures uh, uh, sink their claws into uh, into the carriage and begin to. You feel yourself being lifted up off of the ground, uh, the entire carriage off into the sky. Oh. Texas now down below you. Uh, I am gonna be real. There is a one in six chance they are gonna drop you. They're not wow. even good at picking us up. Uh, they do not drop you. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so you uh, fly towards, uh, carried by these four creatures, you fly towards this enormous wood-grained monolith. Uh, very tall. It is literally a roach motel. Um, mm. Awesome. Uh, just sort of like uh, hastily constructed in uh, the Texas countryside. Um, a whole bunch of like woods, surrounding woods off the side of this mountain, like cleared. Um, and uh, you approach the uh, the great monolith uh, and are very roughly uh, dropped onto the ground. I need everyone to make a roll. You need to roll above a 10 to not take an, in an injury from the very harsh dropping. Do I, can I roll with advantage because I have wings? Like, I know um, I'm still being, it's like jumping in an elevator, which I think so about you, every time I'm in an elevator. Tell like, you what, you can, roll, you can roll an eight or higher. Okay. I'd also like to say you see uh, the camera, if, if you're watching this, is like, the car goes by and you just, you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peggy's whoa. all good. Who's that? That was Bobby. Uh, That's me, Dad. No, Bobby. Bobby! <laughs> uh, well, we'll deal with Bobby's injuries in a second. Uh, Hank? Bounce around in there like Dale, I'm sorry, we'll Dale's roll. gonna go. I keep pressing the wrong button. That's oh. not good. Everyone has really good My seatbelt! My seatbelt! <laughs> <laughs> trying to put on your seatbelt? Alright. It was 10, right? Yes. Nice. Uh, okay, so everyone who failed, I need you to mark on your character sheet somewhere, uh, or just remember uh, that you feel dizzy and concussed and sore. Wow. One of those okay. things. You feel injured. Because um, okay. we'll only me and Peggy were wearing seatbelts because Bobby was <laughs> flying and Dale not wearing a seatbelt. Now, it says here Flash on my... Back to, like moments ago where Dale said like laughed at you for putting on your seatbelts when you got in the band. And <laughs> those things kill more lives than they save. Um, <laughs> uh Nathan, what was that? Uh it says here on my character sheet that I have uh I have healing magic. Uh can I use that healing magic to heal uh my son and neighbor's injuries? Um so uh, what's happening right now is these cockroaches are coming and ripping you guys out of the vehicles or out of the vehicle. Would you like to try and get that done quickly beforehand or like while it's happening? Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's going to be pretty hard. Uh, Could I make like so, a ring of, not to be all Johnny Cash with it, but like a ring of fire around the awesome. thing? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, like, okay. what the deal is. like. Johnny if, Cash about it. <laughs> like... I don't know if there's like gas in this. Like I don't know the structure of this. I old... also do. I believe it is magical in nature. Okay, so it's not going to blow up. So then, no, yeah. Okay, no. so then so the ring of fire can kind of in, in, not engulf, but you know, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, okay, great. I like that idea a lot. Hank, cover me while I heal my son. You go. And also Dale. Oh, I'm just. I don't just want to sing the Halo song, but in Hank Hill's <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I fucking forgot it. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I got a pig. Um, so the bug creatures uh, are beginning to come towards the vehicle that they have dropped onto the ground. Uh, but Hank attempts to summon up a uh, ring of fire. Uh, Hank, give me a tenor higher. I need ten or to higher. roll a tenor higher. I want to make the ring of fire. Twelve, motherfucker. Uh, this uh, ring of fire uh, envelops uh, a, a safe enough distance away from the uh, from the carriage mm -hmm. um, as uh, Peggy attempts to heal uh, just Bobby, Bobby and Dale together. Uh, 
I like I'd like to heal both, but if I have to choose, it's I'd for sure heal Bobby. Like okay. a 75 I knew it. Split. I knew it. <laughs> um uh let's see. Peggy, give me a 12 or higher. Okay. <gasps> nice. Woo! Uh, is. What is it? What does it look like? Uh, casting a quick healing 13. spell on both of them. I give uh, I give Bobby a, a big hug, and light uh, and light shoots out of me and into Bobby, uh, and heals him. And then with some of the remaining light, I uh, I pat Dale curtly on the shoulder. <laughs> Dale, you better not hug my wife. <laughs> Dale, like, with his concussion visibly fading, because uh, it's some sort of head injury, he's like, y you're just lucky I won't remember this slight. And then, uh, remember with this being slighted? I don't know. It sounded like, uh, you know I, what? Never mind. That, that still, works still, for a concussion. I still healed you. Yeah, I just did. Yeah. I just. Yeah, just but second. <laughs> <laughs> Your yes, literal after, magic after. son with wings is over here, and <laughs> you're your your neighbor who you've known for many more years than you've known this young child uh, is still um, second order. So That's rude. these uh, bug is, creatures you're right. are uh, <laughs> trying to get Thank past you. this ring of fire that Hank has summoned around uh, the carriage. Um, they're you know kind of like they can't quite get over it. Uh, the smoke maybe like throws them off, so that you have them at bay at the moment. What do you do? Um, <clears throat> are these these big ones or bigger ones, right? Like there's uh, these big ones that are really big around the carriage, and then now there's a big ass big ones, right? Uh, so currently, okay. So looking at the map we have right here, we have the large monolith structure. Uh, there are these two sort of parapets uh, on the side of it, kind of breaking the monolith. Uh, <laughs> A, uh, a, pa a pair of parapets? A, a pair of parapets. Um, and there are two uh, uh, roaches on that. They are not super huge. Uh, oh, okay. That was perspective. You see, they oh, were they were just oh, closer to overhead. us in the sky. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Were short the they looked bigger. Wow. Oh, no, put it back. I like That was cool. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> um, that works. <laughs> that's a good um, reason. <laughs> that's fucking cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a Bobby, tall roach motel. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to be okay. clear. To be clear. Well, you covered very well. You covered very well. Um, Bobby would like to blast, um, <laughs> try and blast one of the roaches now. Can, I, can uh, I throw in possibly a flavor thing? I don't know if it'll really help. I don't think it'll hurt. But if Bobby's <laughs> going to blast, you probably got to go up in the air to do that. I'd like to open, maybe there's a sunroof, and be like, Bobby, prepare to launch. And then it's like you're a mech <laughs> or something. Launching from beneath the sea, and I just yeah. tuck you up through the sunroof. <laughs> the sunroof is, of course, between the legs of the hobgoblin or the bugbear <laughs> skeleton. Yeah, I wow. fly into onto uh, uh, Hank's wrist as he like a falcon, and I'm just like huh, I take off like Bobby's hood. <laughs> 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 he takes off the hood, which is formed by the scarf that I had. Like in the in the when Peggy hugged me, the the my scarf got wrapped around my eyes like a hood and then he like takes them off and i like fly in um, the air and then like burn them i knew it was called a sunroof but i never thought of it like that <laughs> thumbs up um uh so bobby i'm gonna give you a so you're gonna try to blast some roaches um I mean, do you want to try to take out all four of them which is gonna be a harder roll or you can try to take out one of them, which will be an easier roll. But there are yeah, three I'm just other gonna things take you gotta out deal with. The one on the on the upper left, uh, right here. This one. Uh, great. Roll an eight for me. Oh. Oh, that is right. Also, good point out, Doctor Miles. I don't think tree roaches, but there are flying cockroaches in the huh. south, which is terrifying. Palmetto bugs. Right now, right? right? Yeah, palmetto I don't know. bugs. But like when it gets to a certain temperature, cockroaches gain the ability to fly, and man, that's gross. They're not like yeah, that. that's that's too big of a thing to be flying around. Yeah, I'll admit no, I kind of thought they could fly already. <laughs> they cockroaches can, but can they need yeah. to, it needs to be a certain temperature for them to be able to do it. I think. Really? Got it. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, don't like it. 
And you know what else um, is crazy is I rolled a five, and that sucks because you I rolled it. pretty you bad. Only fives. Oh, fives. Really? Only fives. I mean, Bobby, I I think you rolled. Um, oh, one of them was a d6 that you rolled a five on, but you've rolled a lot of fives. Mm. Uh, Bobby, mm. um, so you go, you look summoning up the energy to uh, blast one of these cockroaches. When uh, one of the other cockroaches, his wings sputter out from uh, his back, uh, and he sort of like leaps over the fire, grabbing you and like sort of like tackling you to the ground outside of the ring of fire. Uh, everybody else in the carriage, what do you do? Well, Dale, oh. now both of our sons are gone. <laughs> <laughs> now Bobby, you know how it feels. I just healed you. You know what it's like. <laughs> We don't oh, be right back. Now but you I'm, know what I'm it's like to lose fifteen dollars and also a son. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take the I, opportunity uh, too. How well can everyone? Quick break. Oh, okay. What break? Hey, Nathan, how are you doing? It's Everyone's... been a while since we've had you on the show. I'm having so much fun playing this game with you, my friends, and trying my best to do the Peggy Hill voice. It's a good Peggy Hill uh, voice. Thank you. I think you're doing a good job. The tempo the of it is voice. spot on. The 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 staccato that, that Peggy Hill speaks with. She's just such a it's, good character. Yeah. King of the Hill is just a, a really good show. I highly recommend everybody watch King of the Hill. Uh, just on your own time. And thanks it's a good. To, and thanks to the people who watch the show, and then also like I've never seen any of the shows you do. Uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Regardless, <laughs> maybe you can check them out. It's all it's all on Hulu. King In of the a way, yeah. we're the commercials for the TV shows. Yeah. Um, I might, you know, if we're taking a break, I might refill my my water. Remember to hydrate, everybody. Hey, this this episode of TV and D brought to you by water. It's all around, hopefully, but not too much. Drink it or you'll die. Yeah, uh, that's somebody yeah. that's are these the roaches from the old raid commercials? According to Brian, they're from the Roach Motel commercials, but I don't actually have memory of that commercial. So that may just you don't be have a, a name. Roach Motel yeah. memory? No. I don't. I, I remember. I, all other commercials have been erased from my mind and replaced by the Mucinex one. Oh, That's all I can never. I was thinking about. of the Mucinex guys too. Yeah, they're kind of like the natural antagonist uh, when, when of the I hear... commercials. I'm either thinking about the roaches from Joe's apartment, starring Jerry O'Connell, circa mm-hmm. 1993, mm-hmm. uh, which I think were just actual roaches, uh, or I'm thinking about the Mucinex guys. And I'm not talking about in this episode. I'm just talking about at any given time. At any given time, yeah. Yeah. Those. Th- I mean, that's just peak character design. They made like a melty Shrek family to sell uh, <laughs> yeah. mucus. A gruff voice allergy melty yeah. Shrek family. Yeah. Uh, you, you hate so and you when, love them at the same time. It's, yeah. It's a miracle. As he uh, hates when he loves last himself. we left our heroes, <laughs> uh, Bobby had been ripped out of the sky by cockroach monsters. Uh, Hank, Peggy, and Dale are uh, in a crashed carriage surrounded by a ring of fire of uh, Hank's conjuring. Uh, Hank, Dale, and uh, Peggy, what do you do? Hank, we have to get I Bobby got, back. I know that, Peggy. I'm thinking... Um, I mean, I can, can I like uh, control the, uh, well, so then that to be, can I control the ring of fire to like go out and around and kind of like just bring only Bobby into it as well so that we can maybe try to get that thing off him? Um, ooh, okay. Like, like reshape so, it. Yeah. I don't know if you can just get Bobby. Uh, oh no. I mean, but at least Bobby and the assailant, it. like just so that we're only fighting one instead of. Yeah, yeah, I think that is uh, totally good to try. Uh, if you give me an eight or higher on a d20, I could uh, give you that. Hold on, Peggy. I'll reshape it. Oh, oh hell yeah. Oh, my God. That's I don't know uh, how to draw on here, but I wish I could draw it in there. You rolled a 19. Um, uh, yeah, you might not be able 19. to if you're not a GM. Uh, but uh, so, yeah, you you expertly with that 19 extend the, the, the flame, like sneaks out a little bit and then like lifts over Bobby and the cockroach uh, mm-hmm. so that they don't get burned as well. Yeah, like a big uh, old double Dutch rope. Just, 
And, <laughs> right. Um, Bobby, struggle <laughs> towards us. Okay, Dad. What, Dale, what was the, what, you had a move cooking up. Oh, yeah, mine was uh, useless now, probably. Uh, I was just going to ask how well everyone can hold their breath and if it made sense to create a veil of poison gas, uh, bug gas, to escape from, to to escape within. Once we get Bobby, I, you know, it like be. a decoy, like get out, like boom, smoke, and then we get out of the van, you know? Can I can I cast some sort of uh, protective magic around us to to protect us from the poison gas? Uh, I think you can definitely try it. You won't know if it works till the poison gas goes off. Very very good. Okay, do I roll something? I think it's worth trying. Um, so okay. Okay, so first we need to see. Okay, so we're going with the poison gas. Uh, Dale, I assume yeah, you, like have, Dale... you have a vial of this just on your person at all times. Yeah, like a big glass vial of just just says bug gas on it, and it, like very non-specific. You know, I've I have become accustomed to the idea that these things are are probably in fact bugs, and I'm just like leaning out the escape hatch, and I'm like, "Come and get us! We're in here!" And then I turn back and just just as loudly to Hank and Peggy say, but we won't be. <laughs> and then I um, smash the, it down uh, on the, the ground. Cloud of uh, gas envelops the entire of circle of fire and even spreads out beyond it a bit. Uh, let's see, Peggy, give me a 12 or higher roll to protect the party. God damn oh. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> An 11, one under. Bobby, Don't worry, Hank. <laughs> Dale turns around and he says, I forgot to ask, are you allergic to poisonous <laughs> gas? Uh, Peggy, Peggy, who can't you save with your protective magic? I mean... You can save two of the three. It's D- Dale. <laughs> of course. I would say Dale. Dale's probably been like putting this in his own food for years to build yeah, up. Yeah, like, Dale's a, a Dale's a chain smoker. He he's got the. Dale is uh, currently lighting up a cigarette in the poison yeah, gas. Yeah, yeah. The the cigarette smoke will protect his lungs. Yeah, I was very concerned that this was gonna be like divinity rules and the poison gas was going to explode. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, wow. I also thought that. <laughs> uh, I think Jacob yelled at me once for doing that. Did you uh, blow Nathan everyone up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could see how that would happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jacob, Jacob doesn't like yell. Not, not he, he yelled at me. He gets, he gets like dad angry. We, he's just like, <sighs> You're like, hey, Brian, can you not blow everyone up? <laughs> <laughs> I will turn this adventuring party around. <laughs> Um, uh, so the longest time, so yeah. Protect, we protect the three of us are protected, but Dale, the neighbor, is not. Uh, yeah, uh, Dale, you feel weak, uh, and you're gonna be coughing for the rest of the adventure. <laughs> I'm protected by an impenetrable wall of mesothelioma. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called, right? No, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not working for me. Okay. It's the Mesothelium Museum of I Modern Art. I thought if I shouted it, it might be true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How um, long does the poison gas like it, last? So it 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 bilfers out. Uh, bilfers. Yeah, um, bilfers. I was gonna let it, it go. Like it. I was like, um, pilfer plus belfry. Sure. I don't know. Um, well, a bill's a bill's for spending is what a what a bill. Well, bill it for. kills the uh, cockroach men who immediately like fall down on their backs and like curl up with the. <laughs> uh, all four falling dead immediately. Uh, one right on top of Bobby. Oh, Bobby, don't. Dale touch just that. like puts his arns in the air <laughs> and is just like hacking uncontrollably, <laughs> leaning over while hacking. Um, uh, uh, and, uh, Dale, of course, that was your only vial of that that you had, uh, immediately accessible. You'll have to brew up another if you want to. You would think that I would stock the van, but, uh... You did not. If brewing up another's an option, I, I just might have to. Uh, I um, mean, can we, like, this is, like, actual, not in characters, like, if we can locate, uh, what's, I oh, got I'm spacing on his name. Your son! <laughs> Uh, Joseph. Then Joseph. we can like we have a lot of things. A, this Bobby, is built out of wood. Wait, Joseph. And B, we have poison. So like, if we can just get him out or something, then we can just like bomb the whole thing. You know. 
I don't know how. I to think it's time it. for like a poison poison brewing montage. You know? uh, well, aren't so there we two? Get there's still in on this. There's so two uh, the the two there, buggos. The we'll see if they want to join uh, us. The two buggos on the parapet. <laughs> Uh, have uh, retreated back inside the monolith, possibly oh, okay. raising an alarm. Okay. Hmm. I bet. Do we have any sense of, like, can we sense where Joseph is? Does he leave any kind of magical trail, or... There's no. an entrance to the monolith. <laughs> hmm. Dale says, a father always knows, and then he, like, looks around for a long time. Uh. Uh. There <laughs> and points at the only entrance. Well, <laughs> um, man, I can't think of anything I want to do less than walk into the front door of a monolith. That seems mega bad. Bobby's gonna grab Dale's face and like squish his cheeks in really close, like while he's kind of coughing, but Bobby doesn't care because he's a summoned like demon and he's gonna squish Dale's face and be like, We're gonna get your son back, he's my friend. No matter what happens, we're getting him back today. And then he slaps Dale for no reason. <laughs> and then he and then he like sa saucily like heads towards the entrance. Well said, Bobby. And I also sm slap Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, I just say that. Dale, <laughs> and then I walk, or I walk towards the entrance. <laughs> Dale, your son is is isn't immune to poison or fire, is he? <laughs> I I have not had the pleasure of checking. Joseph <laughs> refuses to participate in my tests. <laughs> Is the door closed or what? Do we knock? Uh, no, you know it's it's a it's a spooky uh, double door of um, the same uh, cheap material of the monolith. <laughs> okay. Um, Sounds pretty spooky. Quite. It's that Roche Motel Dale is, theory. Dale is very spooked. I'm going to get like one of my like very brief Hank Hill bursts of bravery and kick the door in. Uh, you know, so we see a shot from the other side of the door as, you know, like poof, and then the burst of light into, um, into the room as we see Hank emerge. Um, and uh, the interior of the monolith is much the same. It's kind of this uh, wood-grained texture, even though that's not the material of it. Um, there is a stairwell leading up where you can hear a lot of commotion. Uh, and there's a stairwell leading down where you can hear bubbling and uh, some grumbling in that bug language. What's can I, a stairwell leading up? Can I, try to, can I try to some understand? Some sort of commotion. Can I try and understand the the bug language again, uh, or, or you was... can go ahead, but it's going to be even harder this time. Great. Uh, let's make it an eighteen. Eighteen, easy, easy eighteen. Let's go. There's yeah, we're all rolling fives. What are they Fuck saying, me. Peggy? They are very concerned about a fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're we more seem twisted to have than I could them. have imagined. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, don't run towards up. the fashion yeah, Bobby, show. It, Bobby, it stay here. Yeah. Uh, do we hear anything that sounds like the screaming of a child? Uh, there are a, a bunch of like moans and yells coming from downstairs. But also bubbling. But also bubbling. Wow, that's big. Fu that's a lot of fucking bubbling. If you can hear it from up a stairway, yeah. probably Shit. ripping a big old bong. These goddamn yeah. bugs getting yeah, high. Yeah, as yeah. Hell. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cubes in it, everything. They're fucking <laughs> set. Um. Well, we want to split up. Do you want to scream for your son? <laughs> I don't know what. I bet. I bet Joseph's down. There's human voices coming from down there. Maybe Joseph's down there. Are there like torches? That, uh, you said Joseph dark. has a human voice. <laughs> <laughs> you know your son so well. Let's go. If there are because you said it's dark, and I assume the bugs like it dark. But well, they built this. Are there like like you know tor torches or anything that I can light as we go by? Uh, yeah. Why not? All right. Uh, as you head down the spiral, like staircase uh, leading down uh, the monolith, yes, there are torches hanging, unlit torches hanging from the walls. Okay. 
Um, and do, 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 do. Uh, so you can see mm. from the stairwell, uh, there is quite a bit of commotion going on in this underground chamber. Uh, let's see, there are a couple of, uh, in the center of this chamber, um, a couple of stone pillars where a, um, or like, t oh, close to like towers. really big. A uh, couple of towers. Or really uh, close to us. Where insect creatures <laughs> are, or sorry, the cockroach creatures are like, patrolling over uh, what is clearly a dungeon full of prisoners. Uh, and these prisoners are in this bubbling, sticky glue. Um, and there are hordes of them. So many kidnapped people. Uh, uh, one of which is surely Joseph. I'd like to ask... Is Yosemite to... Sam coming back in this adventure? What in darn it? He's stuck in the glue. It's all in <laughs> his mustache. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to know what, uh, what oh, Nathan asked as well. that's going to be hard to get at. What's that? I'd like to know what the clarification on Nathan's um, query, which is, hey, is that bug in the middle just really close to us? <laughs> no, nah, he's real big. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Uh, that is a big <laughs> hulking brute in, like, an executioner mask. Oh, my uh, God. Walking around. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh. What do you do? They do not, they are not aware of you. What do you do? Huh. Their fashion sense leaves much to be desired. <laughs> I can see what they were so upset about now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dale, do you see your son? Dale's like, <laughs> luckily I always carry a giant potion of bug poison. And then he like reaches for where it was earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so um, gone. Dale, uh, roll in 11 or higher for me to see if you can spot Joseph. I have a question. Okay. For you after this. Oh! Seven. Dale. Dale, you see Joseph, clear as day. Make eye contact with him. Hank and Peggy, you know that's not Joseph. <laughs> Dale, that's not Joseph. <laughs> there he is. That's Joseph. Red mustache, red beard, <laughs> cowboy hat, <laughs> rootin' tootin'. <laughs> Dale, that's A your father knows son again. anywhere. <laughs> Yosemite isn't in Texas, Hank. Can't be Yosemite Sam. It's Joseph. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or this is a universe where Dale's neighbor is a giant cowboy. <laughs> okay, Dale. Oh my god. Well, you know what? Just to be safe, why don't we rescue everybody? <laughs> If we must. Uh, Bobby wants to see, <clears throat> is there anything, like, what does the ceiling look like? Are we in, like, a cave? or? Yeah, is it it's like... very, like, cavernous. There, um, I, I always forget which one's stalagmites, which one's stalactites. Stalagmite, because G, ground. Stalactite, C, ceiling. Keep that in mind. That oh. one. Stalactite, oh, that's then. good. There Great. you go. Uh, yeah. Stalactites yeah. hanging from uh, the ceiling. Um, and yeah, they're, 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 so in this cavern, um, which is dark and damp, uh, and there's, there's a heat, there's a humidity, especially from like the bubbling pools of glue, which are not burning, um, the prisoners alive, but no one knows why or how. Bobby uh, wants to possibly, uh, f uh, ride one of the updrafts from the heat, the warm air of the bubbling glue, ride that updraft up to a big stalactite. Stalact stalactite tight stalactite tight hanging above the big one and try and like somehow get it off to shoink down onto the big one's brain is it the, is the big one in the Ooh. glue and are they like somehow immune to the glue or will they get stuck? uh they are not in so the uh on our map here the yellow is the glue oh, uh and those okay. strange very very artistically rendered blobs are the Huddled groups Those of prisoners are the glue. in the glue. And they they're glue. all going through mitosis, as you can see. <laughs> um, so, Bobby, you were trying to get up to the ceiling uh, and loosen a stalactite and clonk the big guy in the head, correct? That's yeah. what you were trying to do? Yeah. Uh, okay, so what's, what's the, the danger here is that you would get seen before that happens, correct? Yeah. Um, and that this uh, one can fly up and reach me. 
Can I just right. make a distraction of just some sort of like flare that's not close Ooh. to us? Uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, okay, so uh, Hank makes a flare on the other side of the cavern. All of the attention diverts there. Uh, Bobby, roll a 12 or higher, and that's to get all the way over to the stalactite. Okay. Here we go. Fuck, a 10. At least it wasn't a 5, or else I would have really thought yeah. I was cursed. Um, so, um, basically, as you, how do you get busted? How, so as they look over in the corner, uh, towards the, uh, flare, suddenly all of their eyes shoot to you. What, what did you do wrong? What happened? I left my scarf on and didn't wrap it up tight and it's just like flapping behind me in the breeze and it's like it looks really nice and it's very eye catching. <laughs> one of the one of the bugs in one of the towers is like that's beautiful. Ha! Hey, <laughs> uh, Peggy understood that. <laughs> um, I have a we should put on a fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys. <laughs> um, this kid's got style. Uh, I have a question. So I threw Bobby that lubrication spray and stuff. Did I use all of it or do I still have some? Uh, you still have it. And you right. still have it seems some. very relevant to the moment. Um, Bobby mm. has an ability specifically that is you're very good at talking your way out of sticky situations. I mean, if, we're surrounded by bubbling glue. I can't think of a stickier situation than this. That's an okay. So I'd like to, and and perchance, because I am a summoned 400-year-old being, I have a slightly better grasp on the bug language than Peggy does. Can I try and bargain with her? She them? would never admit that. <laughs> so, I, Skirples, thank you for the sub. Um, so these are creatures from a different dimension, and the, uh, you are okay. from okay. Uh, I think you could try to talk them down, but Peggy's gonna have to translate. Peggy's gonna have to expose herself and translate. Okay. What if Bobby used the language of dance. Yeah. Also, he that. does have a ribbon with Ooh. which perform. And maybe universal like, language communication. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Bobby, uh, I'll leave it up to you. T take the floor. Tell me what happens. I'll stop you when uh, something relevant. When I think I've got a pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Bobby, if if that flare was the original distraction, what if Bobby became the new distraction? And then instead of using a stalag tight on the ceiling, uh, Peggy, Hank, and Dale pick up a stalag mite from the ground and we just battering ram it, three people running it straight forward into the head of the big roach. That goes with that goes fine with what I can do. I'm going to try and and maybe we'll I I'm going to continue my purpose of like I'm going to try and just like communicate with them, distract them with this a dance, a scarf dance in the sky. I'm just going to like take the stage and see if I can entrance them. Okay. Uh, Carolyn, sorry, Bobby. Uh, yes. what is your what? Give me a demonstration of your dance, real fast. Well, I don't have a scarf on me, but I think it would be you know, kind of it's like trailing behind me. I can't really do it because I don't have wings, of course. Um, but uh, so the the cockroaches, even the big one, are looking oh, um, and uh, roll a um, an eight or higher for me and this is to cause a distraction okay Ooh, 19 oh that's a all of their distraction all, all right. of their beady little cockroach eye, cockroach eyes grow wide and just like fashion <laughs> <laughs> uh like like to a bug zapper just absolutely riveted by uh any sort of like light coming off of like any uh light maybe from like the bubbling glue or anything uh is like reflecting off of the the sash <laughs> um and just you see their heads moving absolutely wrapped um so as that is happening uh Hank Peggy and Dale what's happening I think we're, I'll go with Dale's plan. And I think we got a good yeah, line here. Yeah, we're all here. grabbing a... I think we got a good, yeah. good line here where we can like pin it against the column on the that that one's on, that the one in the back right is on. 
Yeah. Uh, could I? Would it make it easier? I have a oh, conjured weapon of glorious flame. Can I use that to like cut the stalagmite off so that we don't have to break it? Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Right. Ooh. Yeah, I'm um, just gonna try to lightsaber that. Dale. Cool. Nice. Dale announces the plan by saying, "Quick, grab a multi-ton stalagmite of ancient." <laughs> rock from the floor grab it three ways and run it 400 feet in that direction while we still have uh you get the, <laughs> the he, element he, of surprise he explains a complicated plan very briefly yeah. and makes it sound easy yeah Dale, yeah, Dale yeah, puts his good. hands on a it's basically what i'm trying to get at Dale puts his hands on i believe it's a <laughs> three ton multi-ton stalagmite that we would it's absolutely quite heavy. not and i'm just like dale We'll do this one. And I have like one that's probably more about like <laughs> what we can do. And Dale's like yanking on the big one. And I just pull out my it's it looks just like a lightsaber, but it it clicks to start like a like a candle lighter. It was like <laughs> and then it turns on. Oh, and I slice the stalagmite at the bot at the base. Slice clean through rock, it like <laughs> Uh, falls into your grasp. Uh, I'm going to have all three of you. Uh, okay. You only have to roll really a five or higher because there are three of you. Uh, however, if this goes wrong, you're going to have to make a tough decision. I'm so we, do five, we each Carolyn. need to roll five or? Uh, oh, yes. Hank, who's rolling? Hank, uh, uh, Dale, and Peggy are going to roll. This is to transport this thing over. Oh my god. Who's going first? Me. <gasps> okay. 14. Peggy right. Peggy pulls her weight. I'm going. Oh, Hank's pulling right. his weight. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dale. I think sorry, go ahead. Dale's still trying to get the big one by himself. He's like, I've almost got it. And then he he sees that Hank and Peggy are already running with a little one, and he goes, ah, and, like, runs over, and, like, he's not actually helping at the end. Um, he's, like, so charge. The force of the charge <laughs> knocks the big guy up against the tower, uh, which rocks uh, the bug that's on top of it clean off, uh, and he's, he's seeing stars as he hits the ground uh, out of commission. Um... And uh, so the big guy is like currently kind of stuck up against the thing. It won't last long, uh, but you have him for now. And conveniently in the glue pool right next to the tower, uh, uh, who makes eye? Bobby, maybe you make clean eye contact with Joseph, not Yosemite Sam. <laughs> um, Dale's over just... near Yosemite Sam already. <laughs> My <laughs> son. <laughs> 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 Joseph, we found you. I'm stuck. Yeah, We're no gonna shit. get you out. Uh, uh, Bobby's gonna fly to Joseph and try and pull him out. I think Bobby try still has my lube. <laughs> the worst sentence. Oh yeah, I still have. Bobby still lube. has my lubrication spray. Can I spray Joseph's feet with lube? Is I mean, is the uh, is the big bug? Yeah, I'd like because I'm up. The I'm big up bug is pinned there, right? currently. It's not a permanent solution, but it'll. Uh, you bought some time. Oh, yeah. Bobby wants to try and lube up Joseph's feet and pull him out of the sticky glue. More greasy boy. <laughs> uh, obviously, as I watch my child lube up another child's feet, I go, that boy ain't right. <laughs> uh, so, Bobby, you, you're the one who summoned him. You shake up the can <laughs> of magic lubricant uh, and uh, spray Joseph's feet. I need you to give me a six or higher. Okay. We're going to have to carry Joseph because he's not going to be able to run for shit. <laughs> Slippery <Yeah>. ass feet. <laughs> nice and greasy. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. A three. That's terrible. <laughs> you just get the lube on yourself more. <laughs> I and you go it to back like... into my own mouth a little bit. <laughs> Um, you go to you go to like pull Joseph up, and he's like, ah, my my skin. <laughs> um, and as you do that, the uh, the giant bug like pushes the stalac stalagmite uh, off of him, uh, and he takes a large hulking step towards Bobby and Joseph, um, pulling out with one of his massive claws. Uh, Peggy, what do you do? 
Uh, I would like to uh, intercede and cast uh, uh, some some sort of protective barrier. Uh, I'd like to get right right up uh, between the bug and my son and Joseph and and do like a, a light shield, some protective magic to hopefully uh, minimize the the damage they take from. Uh, so, you, so you are physically stepping in front of Bobby and like summoning this light. Yes. Can I? Can uh, we combine our magics through the power of marriage in the state of ooh, Texas? Ooh, and I like it. Create a protective flame wall. That is marital casting. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> marital casting. Uh, okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to I'm going to reduce the roll to only an eight, but you both have to make it. Okay. That to, I don't know if that probability checks out, but we'll do it. I'm Two eights. Math. Easy. Okay, there's one. Dang it. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, that's a that's a good flame shield. Uh, so oh, the, yeah. uh, still got it. <laughs> the holy flaming wall uh knocks the uh big hulking dude back uh and like the power of it is so effective it actually like singes his carapace a bit uh and he stumbles back to like tend to his wound um. As the uh, the other bug sentries are climbing down from their tower, the big guy is currently out of commission for the moment, uh, but maybe back soon. Uh, Bobby, Bobby, you have one more chance. <laughs> <laughs> Turn yeah. the can around. Bobby's gonna. I don't know if it's worth it for Bobby to try and get Joseph out now because we kind of want to defeat these bugs and save all these people, right? Bobby doesn't want to leave all these people. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. We can't I guess I'm leave thinking them. of external pressures as well. Um, Bobby's gonna try and blast the closest bug to him. Uh, great. Go ahead and give me a uh, ten or higher. Okay. Eighteen. Woo! Uh, nice. Bobby, how do you kill one of the bug sentries? Bobby's little beady eyes uh, light up with flame. A thousand propane stoves. The light is summoned, and he blasts forth from his eyes and his hands, and he opens his mouth, and a and a flame blast shoots out. Uh, why the uh the um uh bug creature is like charred to a crisp. Uh, there is still one other on the floor, and he's right behind Dale right now, coming up, uh, towards the group. Dale, what do you do? Um, I mean, I feel I don't want to be a jerk, but I feel like Dale is obsessed with the big <laughs> bug, and. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, you have. I don't think you actually would, have a proficiency. In universe, I don't think he even noticed this little guy. Yeah. I, I still, it's Dale's time to shine. He does have a magic crossbow that I have to imagine is meant for his uh, bug killing business. Yeah, so, and we've softened him up um, with our fire shields. Uh, so. I think he he's got an exposed carapace. He presumably has like a weakened wound at some point from being like somewhat impaled by a, a stalagmite um i think dale has like a special crossbow bolt uh in like a little case or something and he goes a dramatic music it's beginning one, to swell and he like yeah. pulls it out and kisses it and it said and it just says like some weird big bug <laughs> on it like it's non-specific because he wasn't really mm -hmm. expecting to encounter this thing but like he treats it as if he were and he loads it up and um this time hopefully he focuses glasses the correct way so he can actually see and he goes oh there we go you're you're right i wasn't i wasn't seeing before okay uh, and I like to take a shot at whatever. Uh, great. So it does have the, uh, the, giant bug the is. Uh, holy flame shield burned kind of uh, it like his forearm, the forearms of his carapace, and like a bit of the chest area. And there is like a pulsing weak spot uh, that you can single out and fire. Dale, give me twelve or higher. I will also say that it says literally on Dale's character sheet, you attack bug-like creatures with efficiency. Give me 10 or higher. God 
damn it. No, a <laughs> Still a seven. Dale, I have a question for you, and this is up to you. Yeah. Do you get a perfect shot on the big hulking bug, but does the one behind you, at, like shortly after the, the arrow sinks in and kills the giant bug, does uh, one of this, uh, the sentry behind you, like send his claw straight through your body? Oh my God. <laughs> Killing you. Look. I'm I'm gonna be real. Like if I had to play Dale, how Dale is, he has to choose the selfish thing. He he gets the kill, or no, he doesn't. He he survives. You can kill the what bug, but you die. He lives. It's also an argument like, whether yeah. that's really the best thing for Joseph Redcorn or for his son Joseph is to watch his father get eviscerated. So I think it's yeah. a safe. Well, that's fair way. also yeah it's yeah. it's really that's like a, the selfish thing choice, is pretty Dale. unselfish now that i'm thinking about it yeah uh well i'm just saying it's like Dale, it's not exactly the last uh, stand so i think it makes perfect sense for you to not get stabbed yeah, i'm speaking in support of your suck, decision Ryan. i don't want that to happen your at all cat like reflexes yeah. uh so speaking okay so how do you how do you avoid uh, so you miss the shot. It pings like maybe like it just nearly hits the weak spot, uh, but then hits like hard carapace, uh, doing no damage. Uh, and uh, how do you narrowly avoid getting uh, ganked by this sentry behind you? I just go like, ah, and like throw <laughs> myself backwards and in kind of like a, an angered stupor and the. The bug just runs straight. Uh, past great. Me. Uh, runs where I was. It didn't think about where I will be. When uh, Hank, that gives you plenty of time shot. to see this bug creature hurtling towards you. What do you do? I just like do like a. Can we move, move the uh, the move the move the fla flame wall we got? Move the flame wall. <laughs> I like to. I was just gonna do like a spin with my fire saber and. You know, end in a cool, oh yeah, you got position, that. and it's while it's flying by me, and then perhaps on the other side of me, it would like pause for a moment, and then would slide into two pieces. Oh. Now do that. That's cool. Peggy wants you to move the thing. Was like, huh, Peggy, bro, playing jutsu, <laughs> and uh, uh, give me, give me a ten or higher. Oh boy. Yes. Woo. Yeah. Uh, exactly as you yeah. Start yeah. <laughs> yeah. I blow the, the out the light, the fire saber at the end. <laughs> He's uh, dying. The, the bug. Peggy like, blushes seeing Hank do this. <laughs> uh, the that's the man I married. The bug bubbles up all that green, like uh, gooey, organy ooze um, as he dies. Good job, Dad. Thank you both. Uh, so that leaves uh, the big guy uh, who is getting his bearings and is about to charge. Uh, he's now prepped for the firewall. Uh, what uh, somebody, does any, who wants to do something? Leave that up to Bobby's you. gonna. Is it? Yeah, Bobby's gonna. Po is it possible to take a chunk of the firewall and like. Bobby wants to form it into a projectile and shoot it at the... So it's got the force of, like, sort of a light power and a fire power. And he wants to shoot it into the weak a little, spot. A little the Bobby Hummy Ha? A little Bobby Hummy Ha, exactly. <laughs> uh, give me a 13 or higher. Okay. Ah, uh, they, ah, uh, <laughs> they, ah! Uh, 16! Oh, nice! Go. Bobby, the Bobby, uh, the... <laughs> Uh, blasts from the holy firewall uh, into the uh, exposed weak spot of the hulking cockroach uh, burns him up from the inside uh, and his charred carapace hits the ground and shatters into ash Bobby strikes like a disco pose oh. um, way to go Bobby <laughs> thanks mom um, so all of these people are trapped in glue, um, and there is, you do know that there are more hordes of bugs here in the monolith. What do you do? Uh, how fast we grease these guys up? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we save all them work all together if Brian to makes the show go another hour or not. <laughs> also, um, if, I do, if we just raise the, the temperature of the, 
of the chamber, would that make the glue dry and crack? I definitely think it oh, would. Oh, water-based. Um, and so, like, Hank's immediately I, on that. Yeah, I summon a giant thermostat in front of me. <laughs> oh, it's getting a little... Like, I was like mad, but think about like an imaginary AC bill. I'm like, yeah. oh, it can be a little warmer. <laughs> Just take off your jacket, <laughs> and I twist the the arcane thermostat in front of me to, to raise Dad, it to probably like a sauna Dad, level. You know, yeah. Dad, you told us never to go above sixty seven. I told you never to touch it. <laughs> How do you know there's numbers <laughs> on there, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, don't let your father know about the numbers on the thermostat. I said oh, 67 God. in the winter, 75 in the summer. It's like um, we don't have heating or AC at all, and that's how I like it. Uh, <laughs> so basically, uh, to, to wrap up the show, what I want yeah. to happen is, uh, as the glue begins to harden and crack, and all of the people begin to free themselves, they have renewed vigor and want to fight back um, against their captors. Uh, what is everyone's like final big ass like ex you know exposition battle scene? No rolls. Um, how do you look like a big badass, absolutely destroying this monolith and all of the bugs in it? This is the big epic music battle scene. <laughs> Um, Bobby, what are you doing? Uh, Bobby has his scarf flying out behind him. He's weaving in and distracting the bugs and kind of like uh, kiting them to get to just summon them into a, a pit, the, a flaming pit of this glue that he's lit on fire. And you guys are, are of course, like as you're doing this with hordes of uh, other warriors making your way up the various levels of this model. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yosemite yeah. Sam like finds, picks up like some <laughs> fallen crossbow bolts. And then someone mentioned that like Jimmy Neutron was in the, is from Texas maybe. <laughs> Got so a Jimmy, blast. <laughs> so Jimmy Neutron's in the glue, like crafting some crazy fucking tools and like zapping with science magic the bugs. Yeah, I just have like an arcane propane tank that's materialized on my back, so I just have basically a flamethrower. I'm just like <laughs> gassing it all down. Uh, Peggy, uh, I'm I'm the party healer, of course. So uh, I think just like as I I'm just trying to make sure that like all of these prisoners make it out okay. Like as a bug like swoops down to grab one, I just like oh no you don't, and I like <laughs> hit it away with a mace. Um, I'm just my uh, mace, of course, is my uh, award for excellence as a substitute teacher that I uh, awarded to myself. <laughs> and uh, so I'm just hitting people with my with my trophy, healing people as we as we run out and going, oh, yeah, Peggy Hill. Um, as you make your way up into the throne room of the monolith, uh, where, of course, the giant cockroach queen sits on her uh, stone throne, Dale. How do you and Joseph together kill the queen? Oh, just like um, we just see Dale smiling proudly and just like a wave of guts just like hits him in the face. <laughs> and he's just like, way to go, son. I knew you could do it. And pull out and it's Yosemite Sam who killed the queen. <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> to the to the floor. there you guys are. <laughs> Maybe real Joseph runs up and he's like, what? Two of you? <laughs> this some sort of bug magic? <laughs> um, so uh, with the queen destroyed, uh, the monolith begins to fall. You have saved uh, the uh, realm of Texas. Uh, however, as you make your way back to the town square, which was attacked by... Uh, bug creatures earlier today you can still see the skyline of catch all city uh which is of course on fire uh you can see all the devastation what is everyone's final shot um of this adventure uh that of course was very successful but darker days are ahead for the realm i feel like i'm just sweeping <laughs> just kind of cleaning up you know doing my job Um, Dale is now with the appropriate Joseph and is having a heart to heart moment with him. And he said, jo Joseph, today I had a choice <laughs> to either die or to not die. And I picked to not die because I didn't see why dying would do any good for anyone. 
So let that be a lesson to you. Joseph, like, puts Never a hand on his shoulders, his eyes welling up a little bit. Thanks, Dad. Uh, Bobby? Uh, Bobby's just going to be up, perched on top of the roof, like on top of a weather ba- vane, kind of leaning off uh, with one hand, scarf trailing in the breeze, and just looking out over the destruction, like the smoking uh, violence of Catch-All City. Uh, and Peggy Hill, take us out. Uh, I, I bring out, I, I come out of the, uh, the house with a, a big bowl of Peggy and meatballs, which of <laughs> course the meatballs are just ground up cockroaches because that's all we have. And I, I come up to Hank and I say, well, Hank, you know, I'm your better half because I better half dinner for you. <laughs> and I... Hand him, uh, hand him a, a plate of. That's just a quote from the show. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, I, pour him I a, uh, a big fiery I hand him dinner some bell. Sp- sp- Peggy and meatballs. Yeah, I, I <laughs> ring my big fiery dinner bell. Bobby, <laughs> dinner. Uh, um, Bobby. Uh, and as we hear, we hear Peggy's calls. Get down here. We hear Peggy's calls as we zoom into the skyline of Catch All City, uh, where this giant, horrible Eldritch Tower with a slight distortion uh, uh, stands, um, clearly responsible for all of the destruction that everyone is experiencing. And you can see, if we zoom in close enough to see the silhouette of a lock mimic standing patiently with his wyvern companion. To black. Ooh. Uh, guys, that was TV and D. This is the beginning of our, uh, season finale arc where, uh, our entire setting is facing the apocalypse. We'll be back next week with, uh, another group of some of our favorite characters that we've played over the course of the last however many months. Um, this was so much fun. This is one of my favorites. Nathan, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course. My pleasure. Do you have any plugs, deluxe? Yeah, do you you have a massively popular YouTube channel you would like to make the people aware of? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, watch Trophy. Uh, New episodes, Tuesdays and Thursdays on YouTube, streams here on Twitch, Trophy Show every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And I also have uh, my own Twitch channel, Nathan's Other Show, uh, Wednesdays at... Not really a set to like six six ish <laughs> Eastern time, uh, where I, I play video games and read chat uh, occasionally, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much again, Nathan. Hey, Carolyn Page, where can we find you on the internet? Yeah, you can find me at Jacuzzi Tubs with two B's on all social media platforms, and you can watch my show, Fuck Mary and Kill Champions, every Wednesday night at seven p.m. Pacific, ten p.m. Eastern. These guys have all been on it now. Uh, we did yeah, that was so takeover. fun. We did a TV and D takeover episode last night. It was a real good time, and you can catch oh, that on the Joe YouTube channel. Oh, and Tony Wells. I was on a different episode. Yeah, you weren't allowed on. Oh us. yes. <laughs> I want to do a Drawfee takeover yeah. episode sometime soon. Ooh. Uh, hey, Tony Wilson, where can we find you on the internet? I am on Twitter at Helpful Tony. I build things uh, to look at uh, on Instagram, Friends of the Museum. I'm on a show called TV and D. Uh, check us out on um, June 3rd. Uh, we're going to be doing King of the Hill and we're going to have Nathan Yaffe on the show uh, as our Whoa. guest. Um, Whoa. And uh, oh, wait. <laughs> we did get Whoa. Nathan, right? <laughs> Um, uh, that's it. Those are the things. Wonderful. Um, uh, hey, Eli Uden, where can we find you on the internet? Hey, just my full name on Twitter, Eli Uden, E L I Y U D I N. Or you can listen to my podcast, it comes out every Monday, called What a Time to Be Alive. And our most recent episode has Carolyn guesting on it. So you can listen to that. Wow. Check that out. We're all in each other's stuff. Who'd have thunk? Um, who'd have thunk it? Uh, let's see. I'm a goblin voice on Twitch. You can catch me there intermittently. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much for joining us for TV and D. We'll be back next week with a new set of some of our favorite characters. Uh, hey, we have a YouTube. Uh, you can find the link down below. Go watch it again tomorrow. This was a good episode, and you should watch it again. 
and again, and tell your friends, please. Uh, hey, maybe throw us a follow here uh, if you were just joining us for the first time. And maybe throw us a follow yeah. there on YouTube. Uh, we also got a Discord link down below. A lot of fun there. Um, I think. Th oh, also worth noting, uh, we are taking next month off. Um, the channel might still be active. We might still come up and do something weird, but um, uh, we'll kind of figure that out as we go. Um, a summer to break, if you a will. A summer to break. Yeah. Um, this has been a lot of fun, gang. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.